Uh, yesterday, the what a team that is currently known as the Oakland Athletics of the of Major League Baseball unveiled a first look, some renderings of their new stadium that they plan on building. They plan on making the move to Las Vegas sometime here soon. Isaiah, you got to take take a look at these pictures. They seem to not be very well received online. The response not that great. What do you think about them? They look similar to uh, out in Australia, mm -hmm. Sydney. Yeah. I don't know what that thing's called. That's the opera house. I know exactly what you're talking about. It looks just like that. It does. But just like a higher tech uh -huh. version of it. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty sweet. Yeah. I was looking at this and I admittedly in baseball, I'm a little bit of a traditionalist and a little bit of a snob. I feel when it comes to baseball stadiums. This is not traditional by any means, but it is a cool stadium. Uh, it's, it looks like it's indoors, which makes sense. It's at Las Vegas trying to play baseball games outside in the summertime. That'd be, that's lunacy. Um, so it's indoors. It has the biggest, what would be the biggest jumbotron in baseball. The jumbotron, it's like, it's basically like an IMAX screen. It like covers it like goes over the entire outfield and the stadium itself. If you were sitting behind like home plates or I mean, really anywhere in the stadium, except for the outfield, it all, it all has a picturesque view of the strip in Las Vegas behind it because it's like indoor, but it's outdoor. Yeah. It's indoor, but like one whole side of it is just a window, a giant window. And then the covering is the Sydney opera house style arches, the multiple arches that go over. Uh, you got to take a look at the pictures. Um, we can send them to you if you want at 8772 Radio U. But I don't get to the. I, 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 I understand why people are upset about the move. I feel like the, the, if you follow along a little bit with baseball and the ownership of the A's and stuff, it does feel like they've kind of. They've done the fans of, in Oakland dirty. But that said, if this is going to be a new MLB stadium, this is going to be awesome. And it's going to be. It's going to get people wanting to go to a game because it looks so cool. Yeah, it looks awesome. And I think, too, a lot of people are hating on this. And I think the reason is, is because baseball has always been kind of like an old-time baseball feel. Yeah. A tra very traditional sport. Mm -hmm. But so people are complaining because mm -hmm. they think this looks too techy, too, too AI, futuristic, too futuristic. Yeah. But realistically, baseball, if you guys think the old-time feel is so great, which mm -hmm. I'm for. I love baseball. Yeah. I love I love my Guardians. I love I love the Cleveland Guardians. But at the same time... That old time feel is the same thing that's killing baseball every day. Mm -hmm. You guys have, I mean, you have not been the same thing that you were 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. So all of our old time baseball feely fans, where are you at? You're not watching games. Yeah. So you're not making us any money. Off, yeah, you're not making us any money. So what is this doing? Attracting a younger fan base. Yeah. Uh, and you think about it too. If they tried to go to traditional old timey, with a brand new team in a city that's never had baseball before, it would be fake anyways. So why would you do that? This, this stadium, if they can do this, uh, if they can pull this off. Obviously these are just the renderings of what it's supposed to look like one day once they build it. But uh, if they do this, this will be, it'll be hard to say it's not the new coolest stadium in baseball. It'd be pretty hard for them to put a traditional baseball stadium next to the sphere yeah. in Las Vegas yeah. and, and, and Allegiant stadium and all that, that would look ridiculous. It if you like that video, there's a ton more. Go check out our past videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.